Well, hello, my fine gardening friends. How the devil are you? Welcome to the end of what has been an absolutely spankingly beautiful day here in equally beautiful Nova Scotia. The sun, as you can see, has been shining all day. Blue skies. The, um, the sunflowers are out, looking absolutely beautiful and also very busy, as you can see there. And the England lionesses have uh, won the European Women's Football Championship, beating Germany 2-1 in the final today. Um, and that has made me especially happy, um, as we never win in finals, especially against Germany. So the boys may take a lesson out of this, um, but not all, not all is well in the world. Uh, you know, as you've uh, probably seen, those devastating floods in, uh, in, the, in the US, in Kentucky and Missouri, um, things like unprecedented heat wave in the UK. 40 degrees, 40 degrees, we're lucky normally to get 20. Um, and it's been really, really hot here in Nova Scotia for quite a few weeks, although not nearly as, uh, as bad as uh, over in the UK. And, um, you know, all sorts of different weather events um, are you know, unprecedented in world history. And, you know, obviously, you know, a lot to do with climate change. Now, Steve, what are you going on about climate change? You're a gardening channel. Well, I think, you know, we all need to do our little bit. And my little bit today is composting. As you can see down here, I've got um, lots of different bits of plants that I've just, um, I've just cut up. I've just spent um, a couple of hours doing um, a bit of deadheading. <laughs> I've been loafing a bit, um, sunbathing instead of gardening over the last few weeks. So I've, I've uh, did some quite vicious deadheading. So more than deadheading, dead planting. Um, but there you go. Um, but composting, really important. Um, as you can see behind me, I've got a, you know quite a big effort at composting here. I've got three different bins. Not everybody has got that sort of space, but even the smallest amount of, of composting is going to help. Why is that going to help global warming, I hear you say? Well, it's going to help because the more I compost, the less compost I've got to buy. The less compost I've got to buy, whether it be in bags, plastic bags normally, so therefore, you know, less uh, bags have got to be made out of uh, petroleum products, so the less oil is going to be used, which is obviously one of the major sort of uh, contrib contributors 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 to um, global warming um, the less petrol that's going to be used less gas that's going to be used in getting whatever compost it is whether it be to my house or to the shop etc so you know in my little way or in all our little ways if we do a little bit of composting it's going to help us in the long run and even in the short run it's going to help our plants because you know home mate there is nothing like homemade compost to sort of get your plants in tip-top condition. So, probably most of you know how to make compost, but, um, so I'm looking down at me, my, um, my legs because uh, this is peak, um, peak, what are they called? I've forgotten what they're called, mosquito. Peak mosquito area, and uh, they love it down here, but anyway, and they love me. But back to the matter in hand. Um, so making compost is pretty easy. We just need some sort of a uh, receptacle, whether it be, you know, a big bucket, one of those sort of machines you can buy from the shop, or, you know, some scruffy pallets that I use, you know, at the back of your garden. Even one pallet will do. And you just got to fill it up in the season with um, all your sort of cuttings. Um, uh, could be, this is leaves from the banana plant. I've got some pine, pine needles that I've got here. Lots of pl uh, plant stalks. So these are all your green things. So there's a couple of things that sort of um, really sort of go into making good compost. Nitrogen sort of uh, based material. So that's all your green waste. And um, ooh, I think that was a bite. And your sort of carbon based material 
your brown stuff, anything that's sort of died off, um, old tree branches. Uh, what else have we got here? What have we got here? Aha. Brown paper bags. I've got some some old, although well, I won't use that uh, green bit, some egg boxes, etc. Toilet rolls. All your kitchen leavings, anyway, are your, your, your green bits, etc. Anything um, that hasn't been cooked in the kitchen. Banana skins, all sorts of that sort of malarkey. Potato peelings are all brilliant to stick in your compost. Usually, they say that a sort of mix of 50% brown stuff, 50% green stuff. Tell you what, they're having a right go at me. 50% green stuff is a sort of perfect um, mix to get your, your, your compost heap going. And the way I do it is obviously I've got my, um, I've got my one bin that I stick all the sort of new stuff in and then I chop it all up. Fortunately, I've got a shredder. So I, I chop all the sort of, um, all the bits up, whether it be paper, brown paper, cardboard, the green stuff, as small as possible, as you can see over there in that bin, um, that is all that is sort of like finished initial green and brown stuff, all chopped up small. And then I'll leave that for um, a few months. And it's always a good idea, see if you can, to sort of turn it a bit. That's why it's good to have a couple of different bins because then, say, um, after a month or so, I sort of turn it all out into another bin you don't have to do that you can just leave it in there sort of maybe give it a bit of a, a turn now and then sort of get air in there because what happens is it's basically all the microorganisms inside there um, eating away at all of the the stuff and all the different bits and bobs in there eating away at all the stuff and they need you know they need just a lot as we do they need food which is the material and oxygen to sort of help them get on their way and a sort of byproduct of of them doing all the bits and bobs that they do is that they create heat which really sort of heats up um, the internal sort of area of a compost heap if it's large enough normally about um, two or three foot square like or in cubed that will sort of warm it get a good bit of heat initially and um and then that all breaks down and that turns into this lovely stuff we have in this area here. And that's it's still quite um, a rough mix, but inside it's a really good mix in there. And as you can see, it's nice, black, beautiful, moist compost, really good material to put on, um, whether it be um, what I do, because I'm a no dig gardener, I either put a whole, like, as you can see, I've just planted some bush beans. I planted them, that, well, what I initially did was I'd got all my old stuff. What did I have in there? Onions, pulled them out. Then I got rid of all the weeds. Then I laid a couple of inches of, of fresh compost from that there, laid it over there and then planted the bush beans into that. And what that acts as is a, a good boost to the soil that's already in there. The, the microorganisms in the soil that are there thinking, oh, I've got some fresh food here. So they bring that all down. And then it also acts as a bit of a, um, a weed barrier for any weed seeds that were underneath. So that prevents weeds. And then it also obviously feeds the soil and keeps it nice and moist underneath. As you can see there, it's kept that um, uh, soil underneath nice and moist. And then it all gets worked in and feeds the soil, which hence feeds the plants. And you know, that is great amounts of goodness in there. You know, all the, all the different uh, minerals and, and everything you can think of that's gonna feed the soil, which feeds the plants in the end, is in that compost. So it's brilliant stuff. So I, I, I use it like that, or I, I might just um, lay it around an individual um, tomato plant, just to, or any sort of plant really, a couple of inches of that around there does the same thing on a mini scale or I mix it in with my um, what do I mix it in with with my leaf mold 
So a, a bit of compost, a bit of leaf mould, maybe a bit of garden soil to put in a, a plant pot. When you know any sort of plant, whether it be banana plants or or my annuals that I've got in there, again, excellent food, uh, food good uh, water retaining uh, abilities, as well as um, it drains nicely. So, again, I've not had to buy compost in, especially I've not had to buy peat-based compost, which we don't want to be buying nowadays because that is the one of the big. Um, killers of the climate because every time they sort of um, harvest any peat it releases masses amounts of carbon into the atmosphere which we definitely don't want um, so that was it just a quick little going over of um, of how to make compost and why compost is such a good idea or composting your own composting is as good as possible even if you're doing a small amount you know people with a small garden can't really do a lot of uh, composting but you can make that little bit of difference of all of your all of your kitchen waste and your you know the waste of your plants in a little corner in the back there you know put a trellis in front of it so if it you know if it's gonna look like this area um, to make your garden look nice but all the same, it's such a good idea to be doing it. Right, I am going to um, finish this video now because I'm obviously being eaten alive. Uh, in fact, half of my legs are gone. You can't really see it, but um, the mosquitoes are having a right laugh. Um, I'm gonna dump all this stuff in there and I'm gonna chop it up another day. But composting, brilliant idea. And um, anytime you do it, job is definitely a good one.